<laughs> I want to leave. Dude, please, just give me my coat. I, I just want to get out of here. I, the, the animatronics, they're going to eat everybody's faces. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now if there's one thing that I absolutely love from the Steam Workshop, it's when people bring games into other games. Like you guys will remember I made an episode looking at Hello Neighbor levels in Paint the Town Red. That was a lot of fun. Today we have a Five Nights at Freddy's level. And like I don't know if it's going to be particularly good, it might not be, but just seeing this, I already have to be kind of impressed, right? Like if you've seen the level creator in this game, it is not good. It really reminds me of those videos where somebody will paint a really intricate image on a single grain of rice. And it's like, yeah, okay, I get it, it's possible, I'm sure plenty of people know how to do it, but... How? Huh. I wanna say that Freddy's looking a little slim, but at the same time, I don't think I've ever seen him from the side. He usually lunges straight at me, head on. <laughs> we have our, uh, bearded children all laughing and dancing <laughs> a little bit off-putting where are your friends freddy oh crap that's actually something that you never want to ask freddy right i never thought about that i guess we should probably look around right i i'm sure i work here i'm probably allowed to snoop around the back and not get turned inside out by an animatronic oh it <laughs> it's my office oh that's really clever can I actually close the door? Ooh, ooh, you can't close the door! No way! Okay, you know what? I uh, get the feeling that I have infinite power, so I'm just gonna sit in here. Yeah, suck it, let's see you guys get through that. I'm not hearing any instructions from the voice recording, but maybe that's just because I should already know how this works. There have been a whole lot of Five Nights at Freddy's games. I'm also not seeing a lot on my monitor. Can I maybe flick it on? Oh, that turns the lights on and off. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling this monitor isn't going to be super useful, largely because it's made out of frying pans. So that's going to be high on the to-do list for fixing things. Can I put you down? What puts you down? Probably that. All right. Um, I'm going to arm myself with a tire iron and turn the lights off. And continue exploring, I suppose. Employees only. Yeah, I'm an employee. Are you an employee? I don't think more than one person worked here. Actually, people probably work here during the day, right? I don't think you should be smoking around kids, sir. Then again, we shouldn't have deadly robot animatronics either, so to each their own. Other than Smokey McGee, there isn't anything else happening in behind the scenes, so I guess we can check these front doors. Oh, come on. I really don't want to walk in on a kid pooping. <laughs> That's mentally scarring. Oh, right. It's a kitchen, of course. Because we're a pizzeria. Where we make the finest boiled steak pizza around. I didn't claim that we were a good pizzeria, okay? We also have clean dishes and uh, nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. We have boiled steak and we have dishes. Which is probably why everybody is <laughs> eating fruit or lamb shanks, or nothing at all. Yeah, don't worry guys, the boiled pizza's coming. I see everybody already has a dish, so half the job is done. Wouldn't mind finding myself an exit before this inevitably goes downhill. I'm not looking to spend five nights here, all right? So green door or orange door? Green door, orange door. Maybe green would be an exit? Ha! <laughs> oh, this is the bathroom. We have somebody dancing to urinal music. Maybe he's just shaking off, you never know. Oh, hey, Fluffles! <laughs> What's up? I mean, I don't mind walking in on you taking a poop, right? In fact, we can just double up again if you really want, like old times. Hold on. There we go. Fluffles, if you were a purple man and you wanted to dice up some children, where would you do it? In a bathroom stall? That's exactly what I thought. So we're gonna have to check all of them for safety purposes. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, and you're doing okay, sir? I'm not sure why we have Technicolor lights as people pee, but whatever keeps you entertained. <laughs> Let's move on to the other bathroom. We don't have any female employees, so I'm just gonna have to knock with my foot. Hello? Is anybody in pieces in here? Am I not allowed in because it's the female bathroom? Are you kidding me right now? I actually cannot go in. <laughs> 
That's a clever touch, but I want in. Oh, come on. Come on. Is anybody dying in here? Come to think of it, we don't have any female patrons either. So this is probably a relatively unused bathroom, which I can't go in, so screw it, I suppose. This looks like an exit. Uh, right? Are you doing, what, coat check? Why would we have coat check at a pizzeria? I don't get it. Hey! The outdoors! I can't leave! What do you mean I can't leave? Look at the drum trees! <laughs> I wanna leave! Dude, please, just give me my coat. I, I just want to get out of here. I, the, the animatronics, they're going to eat everybody's faces. Your beautifully sculpted face is going to be the first to go. Just you wait. got to find another way out of here. I'm not going to let it go downhill. I'm not going to let you eat me. It's not going to happen. Employees only? Okay, maybe an employee only exit? Or... Oh, dude, don't make another one. What are you doing? Who is this? This one has seen better days for sure. We're still missing all the others, though, right? We got one unfinished one. What does this do? Turn off the lights? Yeah, let's just turn off the lights. I feel like lights are probably only gonna stave off their hunger for so long. Giant purple thing. Purple thing doesn't do anything. Weird. Okay, I think we have a pretty good lay of the land, and the fact that I am completely boned, can't get out of here, I can lock myself away in my office, and that's about it. Children of the pizzeria, may I have your attention for a moment, please? Everybody, yeah, everybody look up here, okay? I am Admiral Stickybeard, and I come to you as a new mascot of this pizzeria to inform you that this bear is an imposter. Look at him. Bear legs don't just come off like that. He is clearly not a real bear, and I am clearly not trying to disarm him. I am trying to disleg him because I want us all to escape alive. There we go. How's that? Now he should be able to chase after us. Okay, now everybody leave. Stop your dancing and leave. I'm, you know what? Pretty face has to go first. We're just, that's awkward. There we go. That's the stuff. We're, we're getting out of here, kids. Fluffles, the children have turned on me. I need you to help. No, no, Fluffles. We could have gotten out of here together. Why do you always Judas me, Fluffles? I don't understand. Why do you always have to side with the kids? You hear that, you robotic demon? I'll never let you take these children alive. <laughs> Maybe I was the purple man all along, and I'm trying to save them with plates. Yeah, only nine kids left to save. We're so freaking close. Can I borrow that? Thank you. Man, I really hope I didn't kill the dishwasher because he is gonna have a whole night's work ahead of him. Maybe a couple nights work. Okay, yup. That that kid is super safe, super safe. Okay, can we just, I've done it. I've completed your work, master. Please, please accept me. I've become one with the Fazbear and nobody will stand before us. So our next level is actually called Save Fluffles. For some reason, this was the fourth highest rated level of the week, and it's dedicated to me. So thank you to whoever made this level for me. I don't see, oh, there's Fluffles. So it's me and Fluffles versus a whole bunch of big strong men. And I have a gun. That seems perfectly fair. Okay, uh, you know what? How about you guys just all get away from Fluffles? Hey, 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 no, no, we need to save Fluffles. Okay, did anybody survive? Because I want Fluffles to kind of earn his own keep. How about uh, pimps go away? Yeah, the, the pimps can go down. You just say, there we go. Okay, so it's Fluffles versus this guy. And uh, I'll maim him a little bit for Fluffles. How about that? Whoops. Okay, I meant to maim him. May have hit an artery or something like that. What you doing, Fluffles? You can't drink their blood yet. We need to leave. If you really want to go Blair Witch in the corner, then you can go ahead and do that. I didn't try to shoot you. Okay, no, we're, we're just gonna leave. Yeah, you know what? There we go. Mission accomplished. Ew. What kind of engorged, disgusting hands do you have? Object number 13, got an unknown power. Okay, so our next level is the highest rated level in the workshop over the past few weeks, and it's called Ultimate Laboratory Showdown, where I'm guessing this guy stuck his hands in whatever made the Ninja Turtles? Oh, and we have guards. Great. So you're not that happy at me? Oh, 
I'm object 13. Well, don't objectify me. I'm a strong independent test subject. That's rude. So I got some kind of unknown power. Is it the ability to make people catch knives with their teeth? Hmm, doesn't seem like it, because you guys, ow! You guys didn't seem to catch. Yeah, they were doing something to me, all right. They had me all hooked up to this machine, reading my brain waves, and I don't know, something went wrong. Interesting, what does this button do? I test all the buttons, right? Can't quite tell. I hear movement and fire, though. Hello, guards! Uh, don't mind... Don't mind me! Just a test subject on the loose. I, I swear, my ability isn't to tase people. I just picked this up along the way. Better watch out for Fred. He's coming at me at the speed of smell. Listen, man, I'm like Weapon X, okay? I'm like Wolverine breaking out of this place. Do you really want a piece of me right now? You look, oh, okay, oh, I guess you do. I was gonna say, you look like you got a broken hip, but uh, nope, you got way worse than that. Actually, yeah, you know what? That might be a broken hip. Maybe I got it right the first time. So I was, yeah, 13. This was my cell. This is my baseball bat. That's where I poop. Cool. Can I get subject eight out? Is there a button here? Subject nine. 10 is already gone, 11 and 12 are already gone. There has to be a way to get these guys out. Are they even friends? Button didn't do it. Hmm. Yeah, you're not overly friendly. You don't want to leave? You prefer to stay here with Fred? He's fallen and he can't get up. I'm not calling life alert, so I guess you guys can just hang out here. Not my problem. I don't remember Wolverine escaping with a baseball bat, but then again, section alarm status. Is that a good or a bad thing? Dude, just, just don't. Just stop. It's with the lab technicians thinking they're superheroes all of a sudden. Active? I guess I want to switch that to inactive, so... Uh... Inactive? Oh! I just let them out? Look at the lights. I don't know, I'm hitting lots of buttons. Holy damn kebabs? What's a, what's a holy damn kebab? Oh, I lit stuff on fire. Stuff being on fire isn't good. Yeah, look, there's my insides. And where my insides were pointing at that current time. Um, maybe I could just run through. What are the odds I can run through? I can't hit these buttons again. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Well, Wolverine could run through fire and I'm way cooler than Wolverine. The question is, where do I want to go? Be the one with the light? Yeah, we're just gonna... Okay, yeah, that hurt a lot. So we only get to run through fire once and then we're done. So did I make a good decision? They both led to the same place. Of course they did. Ew. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have the regen powers. Or, I don't know, you give a messy birth. Cool, adamantium skeletons. So did they try to put one of them in you? They try to put it in through your butt? That was probably a bad idea, right? Cyborg program. Ooh, okay. So you're not a person, you're just a cyborg. Really need to worry about that all that much. Button. What's button do? I see escape, there is a chance at freedom. What is that? I see you? <laughs> I see you too! But I mean, aren't we, like, on the same team? Right? Shouldn't you be helping me if I'm one of you? I'm really confused right now. Does this lead... Is this back to the fire? Yeah, that's back to the fire. Okay, so we do want to go through the door. And hopefully... To freedom? Oh, 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 no, I'm not a cyborg. I'm, I'm just trying to get out of here. I don't even know if I'm human now that I think about it. Maybe I'm not Wolverine. Maybe I'm a cyborg. Listen, dude, we've been over this. Okay, the lab techs, you guys shouldn't be trying to be heroes. Just go about your work making soap or whatever the hell you do. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is a factory for cyborgs and ashtrays. A lot of crossover there. I'm going to take this because it's sharper. But other than that, I have no idea what. Is this a giant safe full of safes? 
because that's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, I'll take this one because it's sharper and bigger. But I don't think there's anything here for me. Weird, very weird. All right, this level is awesome, by the way. I'm incredibly impressed with this. This is right up there with Stay in the Shadows so far. That's not a good sound. Dude, stop it. Just take your ashtray and go back to work. Uh, did we get some prototypes here by the looks of it? Test prototype. The one that escaped? Hmm. Oh, maybe these are cyborg brains. Never thought of that, right? That's usually the kind of thing that this sort of place would, uh, line up. Oh, I have friends! I'm coming, friend! Eh! Yes, cyborg brethren! We no! I came so close! Holy crap, what is this guy made of? Oh, that's not fair. Hey, 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 you got the upgrade, and I didn't. I, I didn't get the firmware patch. Come on, oh, come on. I am going to break you in half. Oh. Weird. So they don't collapse like people because they're not people. I've never seen that in this game. Okay. That's a little freaky. Uh, button? Button? It's gonna let me escape, or is this gonna summon more cyborgs? Potentially escape. Okay, I need to figure out where I was supposed to come down. I jumped. Prototype. Oh, they were feeding it. Keeping it in solitary confinement. Yeah, they just let it out to, uh... Mess people up, essentially. <laughs> but, uh, sucks to be him, because I won. Is the exit? Can't leave. Hmm. Okay, we're on the right path, though. Guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's a whole lot of crap going on back there. Maybe you should get to containing the prototypes or mopping up the brains, you know, whatever your job detail is. Okay, okay, that's just great. Great, we got lots of people coming up the stairs. Hey, 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 hey. I managed to get here in time and actually save some of my friends. Okay, how about we get the door down before you guys run into them? Please, please don't run. Okay, well, I, I tried my best. Idiots. I mean, it's not their fault, right? They probably didn't get the software update or something like that. They had no idea that spiky things hurt. They weren't taught that. How about you just eat some monitor? There we go. So, 15, 16, and 17. Ooh. Mind finding myself some 18. Um. Would you know where that is, or are you just gonna hump the ground? He's just gonna hump the ground. Okay, screw him. We're gonna go. Oh, dear. Come on, can I please just leave? Please, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run through you guys. I don't even care anymore. You're nice and slow. I'm taking a harpoon, a robot harpoon. We're going through here. Oh my God, there are so many guards. I'm fleeing, I'm fleeing. <laughs> Screw you guys, you're packaging up robots and stuff. I'm getting out of here. This level is huge. There's so much stuff. Oh my God, there has, there has to be an exit. I'm in the cafeteria now. I feel like I'm making progress. Feel like, oh, 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 ew, ew, ew. What is going on with this place? <laughs> this could have taken hours to get through. I am just, hi. Okay, you guys, no, 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 no. You guys stand guard, okay? They come at you, just, just poke them or something. I don't know. Blue, blue is good. What the hell is this? I mean, like the, uh... I'm in like the server room and I can't see anything. It's all windows and mirrors. I'm so screwed. Oh, door, door, door. I found it. 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 Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, um, okay, I don't have much of a choice. Is this bad? Can I? I can dig further down. We're digging further down. I'm keeping my trusty harpoon. Oh my god. Get out of here. I'm armed and dangerous. They're robots! They're all robots! No! I gotta- I gotta get out of here. Oh my god, he one-shotted me! <laughs> this level is huge! How am I supposed to get through this? I ran through like half of it that time, and even then, I don't know if I'm anywhere near the end! Speed run! I have passed like 60 guards on the way here. And uh, thank you, thank you for that friend, really appreciate it. Boom, headshot, get out of here, get out. No, no, you're not gonna one-shot me without any arms. 
Oh, they di ah, they die. Okay, if they're still standing, they stop moving. They're they're dead. That's fine. I'm forgetting that they're freaking robots. It's really weird. Oh my god, that is cool. I really like that. <laughs> just just go down. Oh my god, they're so strong. I got two shots left. I can't waste them. Who's alive? Anybody? Oh, 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 you, you. There we go. Oh my god, I shoot one and one comes back to life. Okay, no, screw it. Screw it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What is this? Exit? Yes! <laughs> the robot escapes. Object number 13. Maybe that's why I'm object and not subject. Because I am an object. I'm a robot. I'm just cluing into that. That level was awesome. I don't feel the need to go back and fight everybody. I just want to see everything. Killing all the security guards is just a waste of time. My objective is to get out. And I did it. And I killed like 30 or 40 robots while doing so. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And I really wanted to address at the end of one of these videos that I do see all of the levels that people are making for me. And I really do appreciate it. You know, I see the comments. I see the levels. I've played most of them. I just don't play them in videos because I feel like people deserve to see the best of the best. Like, that last level that we played was amazing. It was better than some of the levels actually made for the game Paint the Town Red. And I feel like that's what people come here to see. Whereas if I play a level that someone makes for me, it's really cool for that person. But for most people, they're just watching kind of a barren, empty level that might only last a few seconds kind of thing. So I really do appreciate it. I, I did want to kind of acknowledge those people and don't stop making levels by any means. But that's kind of why I'm not going to be tackling all of them in episodes. So hopefully people understand. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thank you.